here I'm going to be taking a look at some violations of Article 348, um, specifically the use of this flexible metal conduit. This is a good example of why it cannot be used as the sole equipment ground when, flexibi when flexibility is needed. This motor essentially has no equipment ground connected to it now since the flexible metal conduit has completely become disconnected from the connector and there is no green wire there or bare wire acting as an equipment ground. So this would be a violation of section 348.60. Uh, you should not use flex metal, flexible metal conduit as an equipment ground when flexibility is needed after the installation. And this motor vibrates, it twists, it turns a little bit when it starts, and that's likely to cause a loose connection with the connector, and it looks like that's exactly what happened here. This is Russell Blank, NEC Consultant for ECNM Magazine.